Hey, it's Ashley, the boot babe, and I'm live at the Dallas market and I'm in the Saratelli hat show room with Cheyenne Matheson. And I am so excited that she is joining me today. Hello all. <laughs> she is the marketing director and the fashion hat designer at Saratelli. And I wanted her to be able to share her story with you because she has been through a really fascinating journey. So Cheyenne, where did you start? I started at a feed store in Pendleton, Oregon, DMB Supply. And then um, from there, I started working for Rock and Roll Denim. I was a merchandising rep for East Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. How'd you get that job? I did an event with DMB Supply, and their event coordinator came um, and in Pendleton during the roundup. And we just hit it off, and I worked uh, my first event with them at NFR that year in 2014. Yeah, that's a long time ago. That was a long time ago, yeah. How long were you with them? I was with Rock and Roll Denim for three years, and then I helped them launch their online business, and I ran their... um, I ran the warehouse and did all of the packing of all the online orders. And they're in Carrollton, right? The rock and roll. Rock and roll. Uh-huh. Rock and roll is in Fort Worth. Oh, they are in Fort Worth. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. So they're in Fort Worth. And then I went from there. I went to Cripple Creek Apparel and Cowboy Up and Cowgirl Up. And I helped run their online business and start their online business. And I worked for them for two years. And then I came to Saratelli. And I got this job. And you love it because you love designing hats. I can see it in your face. You're like the happiest girl I've ever seen in here designing hats with all sorts of things. She has green hats, red hats, yellow hats, blue hats. She's got magic hats coming out. Tell me a little bit about Saratelli. So Saratelli uh, Hat Company started in 1878. They were felters before they did the hats. So it started um, with the current owner's great-grandpa, and his brothers, and they started felting hats in New Jersey. And then it came all the way down, passed down through the generations to Dean Ceratelli, the owner. And he started on the ground floor as a little kid, collecting all of the fur to make his own hats to to sell back to his dad. Well, that's amazing. So if you don't know what um, felting is, you actually, they take the fur off of the animal and they put it in wa- water. They steam it over and over again, and then they mush it together. So if you've never watched it, you could Google it, right? And yeah. you can see an Go amazing hat process. Go to YouTube and you can uh, see them centrifuge the felt together and see how they make a hat body. Yeah, which is super fascinating. So I'm excited because you're a big proponent of women, right? And women in this industry. And that's what this podcast is for, right? If you're someone who wants to get in the Western industry right now, what is your advice to that woman? Well, I would say start at, you're going to start probably at the very bottom. So go work at a Western clothing store or feed store and get your feet wet and start from there. That's where I started and work really hard and continue to like push and be better and make really good connections because that's what helped me. I don't have a college degree. I don't have a college degree and I just worked at feed stores and worked really hard Yeah, and started. And that's like the grittiness of the girls and the women in the Western industry from what I've noticed, right? We all have this determination that's relentless. So uh, what do you see for the spring coming out? Tell me about your future. Bright colors, uh, cool leather hat bands, um, anything I can get my hands on that's different and new. That's what I want. Okay. Awesome. Are you going to be at NFR? I personally am not going to be an NFR, but we will have a couple people, a couple re- retailers there with us. Um, the Cowtown, or excuse me, Cow Lot will be there. And, and they're from Colorado, right? Yeah. The Cow Lot. Okay. Yeah. The Cow Lot. They're huge on social media and TikTok and Mavericks. We'll be with Mavericks. Awesome. So shout out to the Kellogg and Mavericks for carrying the Saratellis. That's exciting. Well, Cheyenne, I'm so grateful that you joined me today. Thanks for giving us your two cents in the Western industry. And we will talk to you again very soon. Yes. Come and visit during uh, January market. We'll be 145 years going. (gasps) Wow. 145 years. So if you can get to the market, that's the time to come see it. Again, it's the Boot Babe Ashley signing off live at the Dallas Apparel Market. Have a great day. Awesome. That was easy.